right, so in this video, I'm going to show how to set up uh, your Slack uh, bot to post uh, from your Google Sheet into your Slack channel. Um, and so for this, when you open this, uh, when you open up the uh, Sheets to Slack app uh, initially, you're gonna be met with this sidebar. This, however, will not exist. So if I go ahead and kind of hit create here, whenever I hit create, it saves that URL in there. So right now, there is none. This is what yours would this should probably look like uh, when you start out. So let's go ahead and delete all these triggers initially, and I'll walk you through how to get this Slack URL, uh, which is how the add-on knows where to send it. So first, you're going to go to the Slack uh, API. Uh, so you, it's as simple as Googling Slack API, and I'll provide a uh, link in the video description. You're gonna hit Create App create an app, and then I already have some apps here. Uh, you can create one from scratch, um, and then yeah, just hit create new app. Uh, I already have one here, it's very simple. Uh, it, you know, it really spices things up if you add a little icon, uh, you know, name it, uh, but again, not necessary. Um, the only thing that is necessary here is you're going to go over to incoming webhooks. That's the, uh, the one you wanna click on. And so what you want to do is you want to say, you know, add a new webhook to your workspace, and then you can select which channel you want to uh, add on. So I already did that. So I will go back and uh, just copy my analytics channel. And then uh, what you want to do is go back to your uh, sidebar here, paste that uh, URL in here, hit create, which saves it down. Um, now that should, so then, you know, this is saved down. Um, we can just delete that, not a, not a big deal. Um, but once we exit out of that, we can test it to see if it's saved by going back to create triggers. And you'll see that now it populates up there. So the next way you're gonna want to test it is I recommend just an A1 hit, you know, typing in test before you get too fancy with any sort of formulas, hit test. Um, and then just because this is uh, basic text, this will be really easy for it to send uh, without any errors. So make sure that the sheet name is correct, make sure you're at A1, and then when you hit test, um, it should uh, populate right here with, I have it as my sales bot. So um, that should work properly. Uh, if it doesn't work right away, again, check to make sure that the uh, URL is correct, check to make sure that the cell that it's referencing is correct, and, and try to make sure that it's just a very simple, just text-based message before you start adding in um, some sort of concatenations, and then that the sheet is also correct. Um, uh, something that you should be aware of is the where this all this information is stored. So when I hit, you know, I want to schedule this every, you know, 8 to 9 a.m. every day, uh, should reference sheet one, A1. Um, whenever it does that, it's going to uh, create these active triggers. And so what's actually happening behind the scenes is if you go to view hidden sheets, the add-on created a hidden sheet in your Google Doc, and what it does is it lists all your triggers. So let's create another one here. You'll see it creates another one for Monday, and zero represents the time, uh, the cell, and then the sheet, and then your webhook is stored right here. So if you aren't sure if your webhook is stored or not, you can always check here. Uh, and then what's happening with the add-on, because you can the Google only allows add-ons to set one trigger, um, per user, so it's kind of an arbitrary uh, limitation. So what I did is every hour, it goes through all of these, and it's going to check if today is Monday at you know midnight, uh, and if it is, then it will post. But if it's not, then it'll just, it'll skip over this. So that's the reason that you can only use this on one sheet, is because this, uh, this uh, message scheduler can only set one trigger for your, your Google, Google account. And so if you want to bypass that and use that on, on multiple sheets, you can go ahead and uh, you know, purchase the, you know, the premium sheet and then you get the source code and you, you can do it as, on as many, you can paste that source code onto as many sheets as you want, create as many triggers as you want. You can also use slash commands. So um, 
you can always do that. But this should get you set up enough to start getting going. Um, again, start with the, the text command. And then if that uh, works, then you can move on to something more advanced. But this should, this should get you started. So that's the basic setup for uh, the Sheets to Slack uh, add-on.